Everybody. Welcome back to our channel. One of the best things you can do if you visit Japan is to actually experience a local festival, which most tourists totally miss out on. And autumn is actually the best season to do that because of the weather. It's so nice. It's not cold, it's not hot, it's not humid, it's not rainy. So you can enjoy the festivals to the fullest. Yep, and recently we went to a festival in Narita, Japan, which showcased different kinds of performances from festivals all around the country. It was actually pretty good, right? It's very good. <laughs> It's very cool to be able to see these many kinds of festivals without traveling too far, you know? Yeah, it was just compact into one place, but that being said, seeing those different ones made me feel kind of motivated to actually visit them at the source, right? Mm -hmm. Like we like the ones from Akita, we like the one from Aomori, so personally I kind of want to go to those in the future. And it's also nice to see the big variety of them because they actually vary quite a bit on how they are, like the costumes, the chants, the music. And what, just the general performance of it all? Yeah, dance. Yeah, so definitely, like, I want to see some of them at the source in the future. Aside from having different dances and different costumes, there's also just a different general feel to each of these festivals. Sort of a different atmosphere or a different mood. What do you think, Akina? Yeah, some are like really cheerful and powerful, and some are like quiet and like more mysterious. But all of them usually have like a really spiritual tone to it, or yeah. like divine tone to it. They got spiritual undertones. Yeah. <laughs> But we visited quite a bit of festivals, especially in the Tokyo area, including nearby areas like Chiba, Saitama, stuff like that. And I think even just in one region, the festivals can vary quite a bit, so it's worth just seeing them and appreciating the differences, right? Yeah, like it's very interesting to see the difference between festivals, you know? Yeah, like one of my favorite ones, which I filmed quite a bit on my channel, was in Sakura, Chiba. And it's not touristy at all, like there's zero tourists, there's even zero like people except locals. Just local people from that town seem to know about it, so I like that feeling where it just, you know, got this kind of quiet, calm festival, but there's different kinds, right? Yeah, I really like the one we went in summer, that was actually in the summer, but there was bone dance thing going on the in the Ochan, shrine. The Ochan no Mizu one? Is that the one? <laughs> it's a, it was a Takanda Myojin. Okay. And they had this bone dance thing, there was a drum and then there were some dancers going around and everyone is welcome to join the dance 
and it was kind of like even craziness of the festival that thing. was awesome i never saw one like that before so yeah it's just really good to try different ones and I think you'll find one that you'll really like. Anyway, if you're planning to come to Japan and you want help finding some local festivals or other unique experiences, then you best be checking out our Patreon page. We offer you a travel consultation service, and I think it's a real nice deal. Other than that, you can also check out our previous video about the onsen experience in Japan. The private onsen to be exact. We got those links down below in the description box. So thanks for watching this video everybody, and we hope you have a real nice day.